It's like a mini photo shoot on my workbench just for the thumbnail. It's crazy. So here's my vacuum pump. It's a single stage vacuum pump I bought off eBay. I think back in 2014 or so and I didn't really do much with because this connector that's on it is actually kind of difficult to use. Well, now I'm going to fix that. So originally I was going to remove this and add all these pipes and valves and stuff off of it. But then when I, re I removed this little fitting right here, I realized this is actually the valve. So the, the one-way valve. So if I remove that, it's no longer a vacuum pump. At least I think that's what that does. So instead, I've gotten several little parts that can hook onto this already existing little odd fitting on here. Which I think is for ref refrigeration purposes. And I just have a bunch of little things so we can have like a meter and we can have two valves with each valve having a place to connect up an air a, a, a vacuum hose and stuff like that because i figure i'll have two of them each one a different size so if i have a big hose i can hook it on one side and i can use the small one as a vacuum relief valve and if i have a small hose like this one i can hook it on, on the small side and i can use the big side for the vacuum release uh, vacuum release valve because i would like to have the option to let all the air back into a system, which I didn't have that before. Plus, I didn't have a vacuum gauge before. I have that now. So, let's see if we can put this together. So I wanted the main part of this to run on quarter inch pipe because I have a lot of quarter inch pipe stuff from whenever I was working on steam engines years and years ago. So, I, it, that's kind of like my normal basic pipe size. Well, this meter is too small for this, so I bought a fitting for that, which I believe is here and then this is not the same size that goes on the base so I had to buy this and a little fitting to go from that to this so first off we start with this little piece that goes on to here and actually this is kind of nice because this will actually allow us to change the orientation without affecting how tight it is because if we just had a normal pipe going into there if we wanted to have the the array, the array of valves kind of straight or move it at 90 degrees that would affect how tight it was in there at least I think that would and this can go on to here I love this tiny Coase wrench it was an accidental purchase I was thinking I got a big one but it's actually an amazingly tiny one so now we have that oh this actually fits on there nicely never mind so we don't need a connector between here I can't exactly remember what all I found, but I'm pretty sure I have everything I need, so anything else I'll just I'll figure it out, you know. Now, I'm only putting together the rough design of this. Now, I want the gauge in the top, so that I can go here. This is getting a little bit convoluted. It's almost silly. And then we'll have several fittings coming off of it, so we can have the valves on it. Now, where do I want to go? Actually, I had to buy these parts at two different hardware stores, so... Okay, so they're going to swing out like that. That's what I've decided. And so this swings like that, and then this should... Ah, fuck it, whatever. Then to further compound the craziness, I now have this coming off of it. I know it's getting a little bit absurd, but now I can have these two thingamabobs. I might go back to the hardware store where I got that valve because this one's a little bit too big. And I can always keep this one for any future steam projects because I, I definitely want to get my, back into steam engines. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Well, if this is too l wide, I also happen to buy some shorter ones. So I think let's try those. That's not too bad. I actually kind of like the bigger one. I don't know. I just <laughs> I kind of like how it looks funky. I'm kind of curious how airtight it is if it doesn't have the pipe tape on it. So let's turn it on. Oh, it's actually not that bad. But I think that's probably good. Let's take it apart and let's use the pipe tape on it to really make it better. Yeah. 
And now all I have to do is connect these two parts together. That's actually pretty nice. I do like how I was kind of... Well, I'm not really forced to use this connector, because I could do, redesign it in other ways, but... I'm glad that I went with this connector, because then I can adjust it no matter what. Probably not the greatest. Probably have a leak somewhere. I'm not sure if I need to add pipe tape onto these parts or not. So now I want to test this with a bigger chamber, not just the little bit of space that's inside of here. I was thinking about just using an Erlenmeyer flask, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pull out some stuff and pillage from other videos. So here's a hydraulic line from a steam engine video I have planned, and here's something I picked up today. It's a pressure cooker. I was actually I'm planning on doing another video like after this one sometime, of turning this into a vacuum chamber. But I'm impatient, so whenever I do that video, pretend like this is new and surprising, okay? It's like well, Christmas or I guess. So inside of here is actually this quarter-inch plug thing, and so I think I can probably take this and use this hydraulic line to bridge the gap between this and the pump. I just got that out of the thrift store today. I don't even know if it'll hold the vacuum. So... Okay... Well... Nice. I cannot open that now. But that's where this comes in. That sound. So, now how I can check if it still loses the pressure. It looks like it is losing the pressure in there pretty rapidly. It would be nice to have a pressure gauge on this side. Actually, I mean a vacuum gauge on this side also to see how that changes. Hmm. Seems when it's going to do a chamber this size, it's not really that noticeable. <laughs> so cool. I'm just waiting for this thing to implode though, because you know, I implode and kill me somehow. Now I might want to get a more exact vacuum gauge. But yeah, I am really happy with this. This is a really nice little mod I've done. I mean, you could just... it's pretty simple, but it's just adding a couple valves, but... You know, oh. Looks like that was a like a window. Then somebody jammed some plastic in there? Or putty? I don't know. That's, that's weird. I'm thinking that the leak is inside the actual pump. So this is kind of, this is a shitty pump. So if I ever want to keep a vacuum in something, 
I can pull it down, but then I can I can I can seal this part off. And I might leave this overnight to see if this will stay on on a vacuum because that's pretty cool. No, we can't stop here. I just went outside and got the tank. So this goes in here. And it's all frosting up. It's freezing outside. So, yeah. Let's just pull a little vacuum because I don't know if this thing can implode and kill me. I'll, I'll do that test outside. Plus, I think there might be a dent in it somewhere and it's not the thickest metal. But. Let's just let's just let's just pull a little vacuum. Let's just tickle it a little bit. Okay, what exactly am I doing? I'm not gonna go any further. I I really I, I honestly I I don't know what's gonna happen. Because this thing is meant for pressure. It's just an oil filter. But, man. Because he's so excited. It's a lot more space, too. See, this is what I'm wanting to build my scanning electron microscope around. <laughs> yep. There's a little bit of a stopper way back in the back. But I think that'll be a good end point because it's just right here this little wall so i guess i don't need the entire length of it but what i'm thinking is i can have like the electron gun shooting this way have the target or wait no sorry i got that wrong electron gun shooting shooting this way target and have a phosphor coating have a big window on the front so cool so cool but that's only if it survives <coughs> This entire flange here, though, that's definitely going to survive. That's really thick. I like this. This is a really good... About $20 well spent. Especially for these fancy connectors. I mean, this thing probably costs, like, thousands of dollars to make. And it's just pure luck that I found this pipe with it. Because this was off on the other side of the store for 5 bucks in some bin of junk. They didn't even know they were together. Well, anyway, that's about it. Because after that, it's no longer talking about the pump. It's talking about some vacuum chamber fun goodness. But not the actual pump. So, yeah, I think, I, I think I'll probably see about adding an air hose connector. So a quick connect one. And Well, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm so happy with this. It's really good. And it doesn't really hinder how you hold it, either. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!